You guys really seem to enjoy my duo videos, but a few of you absolute freaks just want to watch the word burn. So here's a solo video. I hate you all. I'm in. Playing solo today. Probably going to go bald or throw my PC out the window in record time, but we'll see how we go. My god, look at this. Spawn straight in and there's a village here almost. Oh, nice. Okay. That looks like it's been like fully raided this whole thing oh i want to get in there i'm gonna get in there it's definitely gonna be some leftover loot somewhere bingo god whoever raided this hated these guys tier three actually building block I wonder if I have book rib now. No. Where is the last external? Be on this side over here. Be this one right here. 100 HP? If I could break that, I could get a tier 3. That would be huge to start the wipe with. I just got to keep this in mind. That there's a tier 3 right there. A free, basically. There go. Tell me the truth. Berries? You know what? I'll take this stuff, I don't care. Metal frags, I'll take it. Boot, there we go. Revo, perfect. All I need is one of those connectors to break and then, and then I have a tier three, I think. Hmm. <gasps> okay. These things are gonna have some loot. 37 rope? Okay. Probably get more ladders once I PC the caves. Ooh. I don't need all of this stuff to be honest. Not gonna try it. Check that. Now, I've just made a little one by one here to throw my loot into while I figure out how I'm going to actually tackle that tool cupboard. I've got a really good start here, but I'm thinking I'm just going to make some Miyokas and break the wall and the TC and hopefully get myself a tier three. Seven. Break. God dang it. It's in this one. Oh, that broke. This, that's perfect. That worked out perfectly, actually. Now I should be able to pick up these ladders and the tier 3. Other than not overstay my welcome here, so I'll just be taking this and I will be calling that a day. L11 I think, up near launch site there would be ideal. Like large rig area? No, I definitely think launch is the go. Fill up on the best loot and I'll get out of here. I think that's the best inventory I'm going to be able to take that as well i'll come back for that bloody great start to my wipe really couldn't have asked for more now i had a plan for this wipe and to be able to pull that off i needed to be smack bang next to launch site so i threw down a small base as close as possible so now i've got a base right next to launch site decent hill to be honest good start honestly see where we can go from here but i've got high hopes well, the first thing I really need to do is get a gun. So I'm going to go out and see if I can snowball one. Oh, Jackie Farmer. Oh my god. Gonna be his base right there. We gotta find the saw. There she is. 
I only hit a few sulfur nodes, so it's either that base or another one pretty close by. Someone was shooting something down there. Oh, somebody raided my base. Awesome. I was only running around launch for like 20 minutes or so. Someone already raided my base. It's so unlucky. Well, that's a damn shame, isn't it? Coming back to my base being ran through was not the most ideal scenario, but I wasn't going to let this little hiccup slow me down. And as I had just had some bad luck, it was only right that I would get some good in turn. And now I just need a little bit of metal frag so I don't get raided like before. You get a sheet metal door on my base. I've come down to launch. Not what I need, but all right. Oh, what's this? What is my luck today? Dude, too many springs. I need a, anything for metal frags. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Somehow I'm back to having a decent set of gear. The funny thing is, I probably wouldn't have got raided if I stuck a key lock on my base, but I had a code lock because I'm just not used to playing solo. Kind of sucks, but whatever. What can you do? Somebody doing it with grenades? Someone's trying to take Bradley with grenades. I have no idea where this guy's lobbing from. Oh my god, he was right there. I think there's another one. Yep, well, there's definitely another one. Yeah, there was definitely more. But I think I might have slipped away. Let's see if I can go deeper this, come back, and give them a run for their money. Nice little haul, can't complain. Let's go back and see what I can do. A little bit scary. Not really sure what old mate was doing. Jesus, man. Scary out here. Just get me home. Pretty big gains, actually. At this point, I was actually sitting pretty, considering just an hour ago I'd lost everything to my name. I had a decent collection of guns and needed to start looking at expanding my base, so I didn't get raided again. But first, I would need some farm, so I went out to do just that. That hazmat's following me. Nice, just what I needed. Jeez. Okay. There should be enough stone for me to actually make come to base, but I might need a little bit more. Now it's just got night time again, and I heard some AK shots over here in the forest. I'm gonna go check them out. The launcher.
I need to loot quickly and get out of here. Oh my god. Oh, I made it back. Okay. I think we'll go find some scrap. I need to get a tier two. He's above me. Shit. Oh, not bad. He was recycled. Another guy somewhere. There. Well, that guy just got killed. What is he doing? We'll go deeper this and come back. Bradley's coming in to troll me. Bradley, go away. Oh, Bradley just trolled this guy so hard. Oh. My god. These dudes are gonna be loaded. Oh my god. Get out of here. That's a big hole. That's huge. If I can get back to base, this is massive. I'm just going to chop some trees and use this stone to upgrade my base. So I spent the next hour or so farming and upgrading my base a nice amount until I had it secure enough where I'd be happy for the night. I also researched the rocket launcher and HV rocket instead of making a tier 2 workbench just in case I got raided overnight. I would need these for tomorrow. Just as a safety net here, just because these two things are so difficult to tech tree to, we're going to research them before I go to sleep because I think I'm going to get offline and it'd suck if I lost them. Alright, that's it for the night. I've upgraded the base, I've researched my stuff, it's getting pretty late, I've got a few doors, I hope I don't get raided. Time of truth! Yay, I still have a base, okay. First step, get a tier 1. Not a tier 1, a tier 2. Need to get a tier 2. All right, I got enough for a tier two now. Just got to craft up HV rockets. It's still really early in the morning, so the server pop is like below 100 right now. So probably the only time I'm going to be able to take Bradley is now. It's going to be max pop in a few hours. And then I'm going to struggle to really do anything. And finally craft a tier two. Let's go. Cool. All right, well, this is kind of all or nothing, so I might as well take the AK kit. I'm not really going to have enough scrap to research it anyway, so, bye-bye. All right, I think I'm ready. Just out. About to go night time. Hmm, this could be bad.
of the fire. C4. Actually, that's pretty good. Okay. I got so lucky there. I didn't bring a flashlight like an idiot. But I got a C4, which is pretty good. Now, my whole game plan as a solo was to take as many Bradleys as I could in the early morning hours while I wouldn't get counted by every 10 men and their dog, and I could amass enough MLRS rockets to do some cheeky raids on a few groups. So since it was still the early morning, I cooked up even more sulfur and waited for our lovely Bradley to respawn. What? Right, since it's daytime this time, I can jump up in my cheeky little spot up here above the trees. Now I can see everything. Awesome. Hmm, it's a counter, has he? Just one so far, we'll see if there's any more. I haven't seen anyone else, I think it's just him. I kind of want to wait for him to push up closer. Alright, he's pushing the mound, I want to see, I want him to get as close as possible. Oh man, there's one underneath me. Hopefully get these crates and get out of here. Oh yeah, M2, that's perfect. Let's get out of here. M2 is really nice, actually. I really need to get a silencer if I'm going to use it. Oh man, that was nice. Got ladder hatches now. Okay, so that's three more MLRS, which doesn't really mean much. Another extended mag, just chuck that in the box here. M2, that's huge. I managed to get through one last Bradley run for the morning, which gave me another C4, meaning I now had two C4 to my name and I could look for a little bit of a profit rate. Now, I knew the guy I killed for the LR on day one of wipe lived in a 2x1 right next to large barn, so I decided to wing it more or less and see what he had to offer me. Alright, I think the best thing to do right now is to take this 2C4 and go and try and profit raid that guy I killed yesterday. I just know that he's probably going to have a little bit of loot. The thing about this base is there's only one spot the loot can be. Hide here. Oh my god, definitely not bad at all. You know what? This inventory is way too good to lose, I'm just gonna run. That is insane. 1.5k scrap, or 1.4k. Crap load of low grade. Crap load of crude. Even more stuff to recycle. This is real. That was really, really good. Make it tier three and research explorer if I want. I just didn't have any wood there to seal, and I didn't want to like screw around too much with it. All right, I'm heading back. Hopefully, no one's looted the raid. Oh my god, all this stone is actually going to be so useful for me. Thank God, no one looted it. It's going to be amazing to build my base up. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm actually relatively happy with that outcome. <laughs> All this extra stone was absolutely perfect for me to finish my base, and that's exactly what I did. Now, I didn't need anything fancy as per se, but I needed somewhere I could safely store a minicopter so I could take the next step in my plan. Alright, my roof is going to be a bit scarfed. It's got no amazing peak downs, but might be enough to defend a raid from. Really depends. Just gotta get it done. Alright, done. 
I think this should be good enough. I'm just gonna park a mini up here and chuck a garage door on it and it should be pretty secure. Now with my base more or less completed, I actually heard a raid nearby and decided I'd give countering it a whirl. Someone's raiding, I gotta get counted that. This guy's gonna go counter it as well. Okay. Sounds like it's just at the top of this hill here. Oh, oh, it's right here, it's right here. There's still one inside I've got to kill. Oh, perfect timing. I got so lucky there. Okay. I gotta seal. I gotta try and focus on sealing here. Oh, well, not looking too good on the loot side of things, but I didn't really have to commit anything, so it doesn't matter. Oh. <gasps> That DC's loaded. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Now, this counter raid actually gave me a lot of wood and metal to cook through. Only problem here was I didn't have a large furnace base. Thing is, there was one with a wood door right next to me. So on my way back to base, I decided to take it over. I'm just gonna raid this furnace base here and take it over. Then I'm gonna have metal frags that I need. I'm gonna do that. We're a in here, and TC's unlocked. Sweet. Oh, a little bit of bits and bobs. Now with that counter raid going so well, and with the furnace base to my name now, with the three Bradleys I had taken, I had a crap load of cameras and laptops to recycle. So I went over to Outpost to do just that and buy myself a minicopter, so I could start looking at collecting some aiming modules. Alright, more than enough scrap for a mini, plus a bunch of logo, really nice. Awesome. Someone just got DB. Alright, that's tier 3 done. Okay. Well now I can look at researching Esplamo, making all that kind of stuff. It's good. I'm gonna go do a rig first. Now I had a mini and more or less sorted out my base for raid defense, I was ready to start running rig. Now I needed an aiming module. This would allow me to use all those MLRS rockets I had amassed through doing Bradley, pretty much giving me the ability to raid any base I wanted. I just needed to secure the locked crate. Red room is glitched, hell yeah, okay. Perfect. Really good to know Red Room's glitched because I can run this constantly now. Oh my god. Really? Bolt? I need that. Just get out of here. Hemi module is huge. What a good little run. Okay. Well, I reckon what we do is just go straight away and MLRS that furnace base. I have so many of these things. Might as well use them. 
There's a volley. Let's do it. Now, the first base I wanted to raid was a little furnace base just down the hill from me. It looked fairly juicy and a fairly easy profit raid, and the MLRS rockets would just open it up without me needing to commit any of my other explosives. So that's just what I did. All right, I need to take my time and get the exact position of this furnace base. Can't really afford to miss this volley. I don't have any others. Oh shit, someone else is being shot at. Oh. oh, they are pissed. They are pissed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor guy. Let's see if it hit. Yes, it did. Half of it's gone. Good shit. And, and probably... Yeah. It's loaded. So the satchel and other of these. Now, as much as I want to stick around and try and seal this, those AK guys are going to be able to see exactly where I shot these rockets. And they're probably going to be making their way over here. So I think I'm just going to take this loot, get out, and store my mini, and come back. Let's just get this loot out of here. I'll come back, break that TC in a minute. Those AK guys would be so furious right now. Now, I'm just going to head back as the LR, because I have a feeling they're going to be there. And I just don't want to interway my AK kit like that. <sighs> ah, as expected, whatever. Can't really do anything about it. I don't know how many there are. So at least three, I think. Unfortunately, by the time I ran back to get the last little bit of loot, the AK guys that had shot me at the military base followed me to the raid. But nevertheless, it was a proof of concept, and I got a fair amount of decent loot. Now, knowing I could easily raid people using these MLRS rockets, all I needed to do is get more of them and aiming modules. And one place I can get both is the cargo ship. I hope no one's on here already. Nope. I might be able to get on the captains there, actually. He's right below me. There's definitely one more with a SAR in the front of the boat. I just haven't seen him. Oh, oh, boys, boys, thanks for the cargo. Just what I needed, an MLR saving module, perfect. This one, not as good, but still all right, not too bad. With all this Bradley taking and flying in and out of my base, I was starting to draw a fair amount of attention to myself. And well, while I was just sitting in base, I got a little bit of a surprise. I was just tabbed out. There's people laddering on my base and stuff, twigging. I don't even know what's going on. Oh shit. Pretty sure they're raiding my garage door off. Now, I'm not sure if they're actually full raiding me, but they might just be going for my mini.
What? Yeah, I just got my mini buddy robbed off me. I'm the stop her. Door camping me. Oh, what's going on? Stop. I need to try and seal that roof door that they blew off. Ugh. Oh, dude, you've got to be kidding me. Ugh. Oh. Oh, it's TT. I know where this bastard lives, actually. Oh, no. Now, I wasn't sure who actually stole my heli here, but I assume they were with this guy door camping me, TT. A guy I'd actually ran into day one of my wipe, and I knew where him and his group lived. And I wasn't about to let some freak door camping me go without revenge. So he was my new target. Now, I'm 90% sure this is where that TT guy lives. I don't know if he's the one that stole my heli, but... Who's door camping me, so I kind of want to raid him. I know they're about a three man. Honestly, his base actually looks like a pretty easy raid. I'd like to raid them before they have a shooting floor. I know it's a two by two core because I saw it on the first day. But yeah, I need to raid it before they have a shooting floor. Now, although I had a new target and a few aiming modules to my name, I still needed some more MLRS rockets, and the server was much higher pop than it was this morning, so taking this Bradley solo was going to be very difficult, but I stood no hope of raiding this guy without a volley of MLRS, so I needed to do it. Alright, the server's almost max pop, I'm going to take Bradley solo, then I'm going to take it at ticket again and just hide up in my spot and hope nobody comes. Tell my truth. I'm gonna get up here and just pray that nobody turns up. Been a little while. Haven't seen anyone yet, so good signs. Oh shit! I'm gonna try and flank around the antenna over here. See if I can shoot him in the back. I thought he would have pushed up. I can't actually see him. Oh, he's still all the way back there. Alright. If he's not even going to push, I'm just going to grab the crates and leave. There's two of them. Alright. There's still one more, but he's pretty far away. I think I'm just going to try and bail with this and not test my luck. The l is pretty big, plus I need these MLRS rockets. This is fine. With Bradley now secured, I had enough MLRS for another volley, which meant I was ready to make my next move, raiding TT and his group. Their base wasn't completed yet, but it would still be a difficult raid for me solo, but I was ready to give it a whirl. Alright, I've got pretty much everything I think I will need. A bunch of Explamo, C4, ladders, a shit to seal with. Okay, just need to grab the MLRS volley and we're good to go. All right, here we go. Here they go. Oh. His base is full stone as well, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be, I don't know, damn bad, hopefully. I'm thinking I should land on the roof, but I don't really know yet. We'll see. Honestly, nowhere near as damaged as I would hope. I missed most of the rockets, but I don't have to pop down it. Oh my god. What's that from?
really should have brought my hate cheese. I would have made this a lot simpler. Hmm. How am I going to do this? No, he just... No! Oh, no way. I was in such disbelief here. He had just PvP rocketed me with a HV. But you guys know me. I'm stubborn as hell, and I went straight back with some ladders to see if I could give them another run. Yeah! Okay, I take my heli and leave. Okay, you take it, you take it. What you all need? Oh, I got a chicken! <laughs> Honestly, that's fine that I killed myself there. I couldn't let them know I was alive and I got a bag right outside. What the hell is that? Oh! I might be able to raid this! Oh, my C4! How close do I have to get to these guys? Oh, the same guy clutched it up again. Where did he come from? Now, wait one minute. Through editing and a little bit of background research here, I'm pretty sure this freak right here walked through a damn wall and shot me in the back. Now, it might seem very tinfoil hat right now, but let's run it back a few seconds here. Just listen for this double door opening. He's nowhere in this upstairs area and just listen for that double door. At this point, both C4 have gone off, so you won't hear any more of that.
and magically Hobgoblin McGee is right behind me. Like, what is that? I, I don't know, you could draw your own conclusions, I might be wearing a tinfoil hat, but I'm pretty sure that guy just walked through a damn wall. Anyway, a few days later he did get banned, so bittersweet ending to my video. If you guys want more solo videos or solo challenges, let me know. I have some fun water wipe plans for my next video though. But like always, thanks for the support. I'll see you guys next time.